Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today we have an article for you with just a couple quick questions at the end. This is about one of the most famous artists in Western history, Michelangelo.、Uh, this is an Italian name, and is a combination of two words you might already know: Michael and Angel. In Italian, they are put together, and it's a fairly common、uh, family name. There, the name of our article today happens to be Michelangelo's most touching work of art. 好，这个 touching 就是感人的。那 work of art， 艺术作品。所以英文标题的意思是米开朗基罗感人的艺术作品。好，不过我们的中文标题另外取了一个中文标题，叫做米开朗基罗的创世。巨作啊，那个创世就创造世界那个创世。Okay, I'll read through the article first, as we always do, and then we go back sentence by sentence in Chinese and in English to explain its contents. Picture this image: an ethereal god surrounded by angels descends from heaven. His right arm is outstretched towards a man lying on the ground. The finger of the god. Almost touches that of the man's left hand, which signifies the spark of life being passed to humanity. If this description sounds familiar, it's because it is one of the world's most famous murals, similar to other monumental artworks like the Mona Lisa and the Starry Night. The creation of Adam by Michelangelo. Is one of the greatest works of art in history. The renowned sculptor Michelangelo was initially tasked with just painting the twelve apostles onto the pedentives that support the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. At the time, Michelangelo was primarily known for his sculptures, such as his famous David statue. So he was hesitant to take the job. However, after seeing the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, he envisioned grand murals depicting the history of Christianity, covering the whole ceiling. Later, Michelangelo convinced Pope Julius II to give him free reign to paint what he wanted—a much more complex work. Michelangelo began working on the project in 1508, and it took him approximately four years to paint the entire ceiling. The project's centerpiece was the creation of Adam, which depicts God giving life to mankind that He created in His image. It was one of the most challenging parts to make. And took Michelangelo sixteen days to complete just this one section. When the mural was finally unveiled in November 1512, the public was astounded by the mural's overwhelming beauty. Michelangelo was hailed as a true genius in both painting and sculpting. To this day, people are still left in awe. Upon visiting the Sistine Chapel and seeing the creation of Adam, so Michelangelo's most touching work of art. Let's talk about the first sentence. Picture this image. So we want you to think about something in your mind. Make a picture in your mind, and this picture is this: an ethereal god. Ethereal means substanceless, and kind of has this feeling of like. Awe and joy associated with it. So the substanceless, unknowable God, surrounded by angels, he comes down from heaven, descends from heaven. So that's the first part of our picture here. 好，所以呢，一开始他说 ，picture this image， 想象一下这个画面。好 ，image 是一个画面。然后想到什么呢？一个 ethereal 这个字呢？它本来的意思上飘渺的，就感觉起来是没有实体的。那它另外一个意思呢，就是超凡的，好超超出凡间的，好，所以它常用来指 heavenly， 好天上的啊，非人间的啊，天堂般的啊等等的。所以一个超凡入圣的神啊，然后呢 ，surrounded by angels， 它是被天使围绕着
，然后呢，他 descends 降临，从哪里降临呢 ？From heaven， 从天堂降临。His right arm is outstretched towards a man lying on the ground. The his here refers to the ethereal God. Is stretching out. He is outstretched. Is sorry. His right arm is already outstretched, reaching to、uh, a man who is lying on the ground on the earth. 那他的右手 right arm is outstretched， 就是。被伸出去的也是他右手已经伸出去了。然后呢 ，towards 就是朝向他的右手伸出去，朝向谁呢？朝向一个人。那这个人是怎么样？后面一个分词片语修饰他。这个人是 lying on the ground， 躺在地上。Now the finger of the god almost touches that of the man's left hand, so it doesn't actually touch. It almost touches. It gets so close that it seems to be touching it, but is not. And this almost touching signifies or means the spark of life, the energy of life, the initial energy of life being passed to humanity. So, God giving life, this God giving life to humanity. 好，所以 the finger of the God， 这个神的手呢 ，almost 几乎 touches 碰到了，碰触到了 that 这个 that 就是指 finger 啊。那后面这种 that 代表的。就是前面的一个普通名词，而且它后面通常会有一个修饰片语，就是在这里就是 of the man's left hand。所以这个神的这个手呢，手指啊，几乎碰到了那个人左手的手指啊，所以这个是神伸出右手，几乎碰到了躺在地上那个人的左手的手指啊，所以他们两个人手指几乎碰到了。那 which 这样的一个画面呢，就 signifies 象征 the spark of life 生命的火花。Being 正在被 passed 传递 to 给谁呢？给 humanity 给人类。所以神正在把生命的火花传递给人。If this description sounds familiar, it's because it is one of the world's most famous murals. What we have just talked about here or described may seem familiar to you.、Huh? Haven't I seen this before? It doesn't sound strange. Why? Because it's one of the world's most famous murals. A mural is a painting on a wall or a ceiling, and this picture—I can't imagine anyone going through life without having seen this picture somewhere. Hmm. 好，所以呢，他说，如果这个描述 sounds familiar， 听起来很熟悉的话 ，it's because 那是因为 it 就是我们所描述的这个画呢 ，is one 或者这个画面呢 ，is one of the world's Most famous 是这个世界上最知名、最著名的 murals， 就是壁画之一。所以这是一个非常有名的壁画，大概很少人没有看过。So similar to other monumental artworks like the Mona Lisa and the Starry Night, the creation of Adam, this painting we're talking about by Michelangelo, is one of the greatest works of art in history. 好，所以 similar to 这个前面省略的一个 being 啊，所以。和什么很相似呢？和其他的 monumental 就是重大的、巨大的，或者我们说重量级的 artworks 艺术作品。好，所以和其他重量级的艺术作品，例如什么呢 ？Like 这个蒙娜丽莎，还有星夜，像这些重量级的作品，同样的啊，怎么样呢？我们这个句子后面这个句子主词就是指什么和这两样这个伟大作品哈一样的、类似的，就是我们这个句子的主词，创造亚当。那他是米开朗基罗的作品啊。那他是怎么样？是 one of the greatest， 是最伟大的 works of art in history， 历史上最伟大的艺术作品之一啊。所以这里换句话说，他指出了三件历艺术史上啊历史上最伟大的作品啊，就蒙娜丽莎、星夜跟这个创造亚当。Okay, our second paragraph begins with this sentence. The renowned sculptor Michelangelo was initially tasked with Just, just painting the twelve apostles onto the pendentives that support the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. If you're tasked to do something, you are、uh, you're chosen, but there's some requirement about it. it. It's something that you really can't refuse to do. You've been given the job. Yep, and、uh, don't say no. What was the job to paint the twelve apostles? These were the、uh, original followers of Jesus. The twelve of them are called apostles, 
and he was asked to paint them on the inside ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. A chapel is a church, normally a very great church, but a church nonetheless, which is in Rome, in the Vatican, which is the seat or the home of the Catholic uh, religion, which is the largest grouping of Christians. So he was at, of course, this is 500 years ago, no less, but uh, even then it was uh, quite an honor and quite a challenge. 好，所以 the renowned, renowned 就是著名的，名声很响亮的 sculptor 是雕塑家，所以他原来是一个知名雕塑家。那这个呢，也是省略的 being， 他修饰的是后面主词，好，后面这个主要子句的主词就是米开朗基罗。所以米开朗基罗身为一个有名的、知名的雕塑家，那他怎么样呢 ？Was initially, initially 就是一开始，他一开始呢 ，was tasked with。Something 啊 ，to be tasked with something 就是被赋予什么什么任务，那通常是不能拒绝的了哈。那他被赋予什么任务呢？一开始他被赋予的任务是，只要哈 ，just 啊，你只要好画一画这个十二位使徒啊，把它画到哪里去呢 ？Onto 画到这个 pendentives 就是穹顶啊，就是教堂那个圆顶啊，支撑那个圆顶的一个结构啊，叫穹顶 pendentives。你只要把它画到那个穹顶上面。好，那这个穹顶呢？他一般人也不认识这个字，好，所以他就后面用形容词子句告诉你，这个穹顶 p e n d e n t i v e 就是 that support the ceiling of， 就是它支撑的是那个天花板，那个圆的圆圆的天花板，好，是西斯丁教堂，罗马西斯丁教堂的那个天花板支持那个罗马西斯丁教堂天花板的那个穹顶啊，把只要把十二使徒的画呃的像画到那上面就可以了，本来是这样子。So at the time, Michelangelo was primarily known for his sculptures. Like he was known as a sculptor and not a painter. And his most famous sculpture is, of course, the David statue, which is like twice more than like two and a half times tall as a human being, but perfectly in proportion. White marble. Yeah, in white marble and carved perfectly in proportion, which is you know really a feat. And so he was hesitant to take the job. He probably had you know sculpture orders. Right through the roof, he was going to make a comfortable living, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, 当时呢，米开朗基罗 was primarily known for 就是他主要是以什么知名呢？以他的雕塑而知名啊。例如他的很知名的、很有名的 famous 那个大卫的雕像啊 ，statue 就是雕像。所以他其实那个时候已经很有名的是个雕塑家啊。那而且可能手上很多工作啊。所以呢 ，he was hesitant. To 啊 ，to to be hesitant to do something 就是很迟疑哈，就有点不情愿的感觉啊。Take the job， 他本来不是很愿意接这个工作啊，他接的工作本来有一点迟疑，有一点心不甘情不愿的。However, after seeing the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, after seeing you know the possibilities of the place, he envisioned grand murals. He decided he saw what he could do. He's like, oh, we could do. Massive murals. Murals are wall paintings. In this case, a ceiling painting depicting the history of Christianity. We could get the whole story on there, covering the whole ceiling. Wow. So, however, ha. But, in seeing the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, 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 就是预想、预见，就在心里面看到的那个画面啊，看到怎么样 ？Grand， 很宏伟的。这个 grand 这个字可以是 large， 可以是 impressive， 好，或者是 splendid 啊，就是很宏伟 ，s p l e n d i d。所以他看到他心里面看到一个很宏伟、很雄伟的一个壁画，然后呢，他这个壁画是干嘛呢 ？Depicting 分词修饰这个壁画，这个壁画呢，它。描绘的是 the history of Christianity， 哈，就是描述的是基督教的历史，哈。然后呢，这个壁画同时它不但描述基督教的历史，而且是 covering the ceiling， 啊，而且是 whole ceiling， 可以覆盖整个天花板啊。大家觉得啊，太棒了，这是很棒的作画的地方。Later, Michelangelo convinced Pope Julius the Second to give him free reign to paint what he wanted. A much more complex work. When I first read this, I thought the complex work was to convince the Pope. <laughs> But well, sometimes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Now the Pope is the leader of the Catholic Church, and 
They often celebrate or worship in the Sistine Chapel. Well, Michelangelo decided, hey, you know, I could get into this. Would it be all right if I expanded what you asked me to do? And um, it was a much bigger challenge for him to paint the, the entire inner ceiling, not just the part that looks like a bowl, but the whole rest of the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, which, of course, would take years, not months. So, he convinced, he convinced, 儒略二世教宗，好，教宗儒略二世，让这个教宗给他 give him free reign， 就是允许他自由的干嘛？所以他说服了教宗，让他能够自由的 to paint， 在上面画 what he wanted， 他想画什么就在上面画什么。结果呢，这个童伟宇告诉你，他想要画的东西呢是 a much more complex， 就是复杂的 work 作品。他想要画的作品比原来的十二个使徒还要更复杂的多。Okay, I forgot to mention Pope Julius the Second. Many students don't know how to read、uh, these titles, so now we have Queen Elizabeth the Second, Lord Wesley the First is how we read Actually, these. It's the fifteenth. <laughs> the fifteenth of his name. All right. Okay. Noted. 好，所以呢，布鲁斯老师刚刚就说，像这个啊，我们看到他这里写 Pope Julius。然后就一个二在那边。那念的时候，你是要念 Pope Julius the Second 这样子。Okay, so Michelangelo began working on the project in 1508, and it took him approximately or about four years to paint the entire ceiling. Now, note Michelangelo wasn't doing the whole thing by himself, or it would have taken a lot longer. Of course, he had artist assistants and everything else. Oh, so you know. 这个米开朗基罗开始 working on， 就是从事啊，进行 the project， 开始进行这样这一个计划，就这个整个的这个画作开始进行是在一五零八年，然后呢，花了他大约 approximately 四年 to paint the entire ceiling， 这整个天花板屋顶画完是大概四年的时间。那当然不是他一个人画，他有一些助手。The project centerpiece was the creation of Adam. Which depicts God giving life to mankind that He created in His image. In this sentence, the key word seems to be centerpiece, and that means the piece means a part of something that is in the middle or the center. In this case, we're talking about a ceiling, and and so it's sort of the star role. Now there are many many paintings here, but the one that's in the middle will probably catch most people's attention first. 好，所以我们这里看到呢，他说这个计划，整个 project， 它的 centerpiece 就是最重要的那一部分，就是创造亚当。那 which 就是这一幅壁画呢 ，depicts 描绘的是上帝 giving life to mankind， 把生命赋予给人类。然后那人类 mankind 后面呢，再修饰一下这个 mankind that he created in his image， 就是上帝依照他的形象所创造出来的人类。好，所以这是个。关系代名词词句修饰那个 mankind. It was one of the most challenging parts to make. It was very hard for him to do this bit, and it took him sixteen days to complete just this one section. It would have taken me a lot longer. <laughs> I just gotta say, only sixteen、yeah. days, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 好，那所以呢，这里讲到说，这个是 one of the most challenging parts. 这是最有挑战性的，就这整个。Project 里面最有挑战性的部分之一，那 to make 就是你要做的话呢，就是非常非常有挑战性的，所以它是 one of the most challenging parts to make。然后呢 ，and took 这件事情花了，你看上记录呢，十六天 to complete 完成 just this one section， 就这一部分就花了他十六天啊，所以总共花了四年，那这一部分就花了他十六天，其实我觉得还是很快。Now let's look at our last paragraph. When the mural was finally unveiled in November 1512, the public was astounded by the mural's overwhelming beauty. Now, if you unveil is to cover, unveil means to reveal, to let people see what was covered.、Uh, they don't let people walk into the chapel while、uh, painters and sculptors are, are busy working. When it's all done. Then the whole work can be unveiled, and not surprisingly, the public was astounded, was amazed. 
by how beautiful the the paintings and sculptures were and still are. 好，所以呢，当这一个壁画呢，终于哈、啊、，finally， 最后终于 unveiled， 就是揭幕哈，这、啊就是在一五一二年的十一月的时候哈、啊。那 the public， 大家哈，这、啊、群众们啊，就是一般大众呢 ，was astounded 啊 ，to be astounded 就是非常非常的惊讶 ，to overwhelm with amazement and wonder 啊，叫做 astounded。那果然后面他说啊，这是他们被什么 astounded 呢？被这个画作的 overwhelming。Beauty, so here is a key word. It is overwhelm. Ha, that overwhelming is to make you overwhelmed. The whole thing is overwhelmed. Overpowering. Ha, this overpowering is over plus powering. Ha, ha. So this beauty is to make you you don't know how to accept this beauty. You will think this beauty is really beautiful. It is too beautiful. I don't know how to say it. So Michelangelo was hailed as a true genius. If you hail somebody, you celebrate them, or you call a taxi. Depending on context, but here、yeah. we're clearly <laughs> celebrating him because taxis didn't exist at that time. So, anyways, Michelangelo was hailed as a true genius in both painting and sculpting. He really made his mark. Yeah, hail 这个字呢，你拦计程车也是用这个字哈。Hail a taxi 啊，但在这里这个 hail 是另外一个意思，它是称颂的意思哈。好 ，to salute, to cheer, salute 就是这个。表达敬佩，哈 ，S A L U T E。所以呢，米开朗基罗呢 ，was hailed as to be hailed as， 就是被称颂，啊，以什么样的身份被称颂啊？大家都称颂他是什么样？所以大家都称颂他是一个 true genius， 真的是天才，货真价实的天才，而且是 both painting， 无论在绘画还有 sculpting， 雕塑方面都是一个真正的天才。And our final sentence to this day. Until now, from 1512 until now, people are still left in awe. They're astounded. They're amazed upon or when visiting the Sistine Chapel and seeing the centerpiece, as well as all the other paintings and sculptures inside the chapel. The creation of Adam is the centerpiece. 好，所以 to this day， 一直到今天，人们仍然是怎么样 ？Are still Left in awe, left in awe, 就是看了之后，他们被留在那个敬畏的状态，也就是感到敬畏的意思啊。所以人们仍然感到敬畏啊。什么时候感到敬畏呢 ？Upon visiting, 就是 when visiting， 当他们去参观这个西斯丁教堂的时候，而且呢 ，upon seeing， 当他们看到创造亚当的时候呢，他们仍然会感到敬畏啊，而且感觉起来人已经走了，可是他们心还留在那个敬畏里面。They are still left in awe. 他们感到敬畏。Okay, we still have some questions here for you, though. Number one, look down on the bottom. It says, "What did you learn?" And number one says, "Why was Michelangelo initially, or in the beginning, reluctant to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel?" Yeah,、um, 他为什么一开始不太想接这个工作呢？ And the answer is because he was known for his sculptures, or you could say it. He was primarily known for his sculptures, or you could say he was more known for making sculptures than paintings. 嗯,嗯，好，所以主要的意思呢，就是他主要是以雕塑闻名，哈，所以他也这个有一点迟疑啊，我要不要去画这个东西呢 ？Okay, our second and final question: How long did it take Michelangelo to finish the creation of Adam? 好，所以他花了多少时间？画完这个创造亚当呢 ？Sixteen days. 他花了十六天。All right, that's it for today's lesson. Until then, bye bye. bye. bye.